Hi, I'm Nick Pawson and you're watching News 24 Live. The postal strike has obviously been in the headlines, entering now its third month. And I'm joined in studio by Regional Communications Manager of the Post Office, Marty Gilchrist, to talk to us about some of the knock-on effects of the strike. Now, Marty, what can you say about reports of sort of various executives going on extended leave when they're supposed to be giving annual reports and then there's been a couple of suspensions? What can you say about that? Unfortunately, not much because the, our executives are um, appointed and you could say managed by the board. Mm. And, um, and especially me also sitting in Cape Town, I don't have insight in that mm. really. Okay. And I mean, there were also r reports about ir irregular expenditure up to a figure of something scary like 2.1 billion Rand. Is there any truth behind that? Um, this is actually um, a copy from last year's, the previous year's um, audit, the um, audit report. And the 2.1 billion irregular expenditure is actually incorrect. The fruitless and wasteless expenditure incurred in um, last year, that was 2012-2013, um, was 2 million. Mm. Um, while the irregular expenditure for this financial year, 2013-14, was 70, close to 71 million. Mm. Um, but it should be pointed out that irregular expenditure is not money wasted as such. It actually means that the correct procedures were not followed. Mm. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Okay, the, the, the figures so might not be right, but there's still irregular expenditure. That's obviously, that's a huge problem that needs to be addressed. It's, it's, the, yeah, it's the internal processes that mm. wasn't followed correctly. It's not as if it was completely money wasted for, mm. I mean, um, I, for instance, can't now go buy a car <laughs> or mm. something and let the company pay. It's just not doable. Mm. Um, but yeah. And then reports of the, uh, the post office dipping into employees' pension funds. Any truth behind no, that? No, no, you cannot. Um, it's not as if um, we are... The, 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 our pension fund has got its own um, board of trustees mm. and um, who decide about things and it's not accessible to us um, because the um, the law and the rules and regulations about pension funds just won't allow it and as I say the, the board of trustees is not been uh, is not post office it's mm. um, outside people Okay. Um, what about entities like Correspondence Universities, UNISA, for example, that rely heavily on the Postal Service uh, students yeah. um, sending in assignments, etc.? Unfortunately, that has, has that uh, it has impacted them, but we're working very closely. We've got now daily meetings with UNISA specifically, mm. um, and we are giving um, extra attention to the study materials. Um, everybody's not just um, UNISIS to see that we can get it to the addressee as soon as possible, either stuff that comes back to UNISA or going out to the students. Mm. Um, for instance, where a post office is closed due to intimidation or something, it will go to the next one, next door, or mm. not too far away, and they will um, get in touch with the student. We are really trying um, to accommodate them, but I know it's not the 100% ideal situation now. Mm. So, Marty, is there an, an end in strike? Uh, sorry, is there an end in sight for the strike? When can we see this sort of coming right? And how has it affected you personally in your position? I've actually. Um, I hope we can get there very soon because it's an inconvenience to everybody. The mm. guys at the post office who still wants to work, and obviously the uh, customers. I feel so sorry for them. Mm. Um, so yes, we hope it will um, end very soon and. Um, what you also asked how? It how it's affected you personally in your your position, um, in your, your you, role. You 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 cannot really. Um, it's difficult because customers complain. The um, the media is really onto us and mm. <laughs> not very friendly always. Um, so yes, it's difficult. And on a completely personal um, note, I'm not getting my mail mm. coming from Gauteng. Um, okay. as, as, as and when I should.